was a good sequel for Halo. They did the right thing here. Get back to Master Chief. Yeah, not as depressing as the previous one where you're slowly dying the entire time. Or both of the previous ones, yeah. Or, yeah. or just having him again. And, and Halo ODST was... It was good, but it was just weird. You have a, you, know, you walk around the streets, and there's just crazy, there's monsters everywhere, and then you start a mission when you find an artifact. Yeah. Well, like I said, you, you slowly die. <laughs> Is that ODST? I thought that was Reach and ODST. I think you both died. No, do you die? You think you die at the end of ODST? I don't remember that, but you probably do because you're playing as dead Something people, right? Or people who yeah. Long and all your yeah. comrades yeah. die too. Yeah. Or they have died or something. You see all you see all their last stands before they get killed. This is Sierra one one seven of the UN. It's a weird way to go with the game. Dawn. Yeah, they, they got Red too US serious US. about this game too quickly. Yeah, it really is. It's like the next scene Master Chief's with his mom in the nursing home. Light up their tags. Master Chief's wife dies in a car accident. <laughs> <laughs> he goes home, but he can't get help from healthcare. And he's... Yeah, exactly. He's on the phone with the insurance company, and they won't. Yeah, it's a good looking game, though. Yeah, it's what, still holds So, up what's the deal? Are they making more of these? They, I mean, I know Bungie went on to do Destiny, but is Halo dead in the water? What's going on with that? Uh, I think was, Halo Five was was had a, a car, a, a cartoon, but one of the preview for it, right? A commercial. Yeah, that sounds right. He was walking through the desert and he they came across some kind of a monster or something like that. Oh, right, right, right. He's like wearing a cloak, like the uh, Stranger in Oddworld. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Hey, so you didn't know if it was Ham or Sam Fisher or who the hell it was. Did you ever play that, by the way? Oddworld. Stranger. Uh, what was it? Was it called? Stranger's Wrath. Stranger's Wrath. Yeah, I think I played some of it, and then I kind of, I, I didn't really, I got really difficult, I kind of just, I had other things to play, so I kind of lost interest, but yeah. you played through it, right? I did, I actually really enjoyed that. Yeah, yeah, maybe I should give it another chance. There's I, an old, like, LucasArts game called, like, Outlaw or something like that, too, that came out right before LucasArts kind of changed gears completely. Uh, kind of like that, too, I never played that one, I've always wanted to go back and see that one sooner or later. LucasArts made a game called Outlaw? Yeah, it's like a Wild West game, where it's like an adventure slash action thing of some sort. That's like, interesting. Kind of like full yeah. throttle. But, yeah. Was it before their point and click stuff or was it after point and click? Oh, that's interesting. I have no memory of that, but I... Yeah, it just did fast. All right, so let's... I think, uh, I think of those, those Mc, like, Outlaw McGee games where you like have a gun and there's a bunch of actors on the screen you gotta shoot. <laughs> Wasn't that uh, what they had in Community recently? Is that... Uh, yeah, well, it was like that, but it was in the arcades. But yeah, uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, that's right. A good episode. That was a really good episode. They've been strong lately. I've been very happy with that. Yeah, they, they got. I hope they they get another chance to another season and stuff like that. They, I think they got a really good energy right now. Coming down All here. Right. We'll start our. Wait, we have to do something here first. Oh. Yeah, for where you are. The tag I'm using is Jimenez. Yeah, dead. You're fine. All right, let's start with the first topic. So, Project Morpheus. <clears throat> okay, yeah, tell me about what this is. So it's a 3D thing coming out for PlayStation? Well, it's a it's a tech demo. Let's, let's be clear about this. It's not, there's no commercial announcement. There's no release for this thing. Uh, I think what I saw recently is they're saying it would not be out even before 2015 uh, if, it, if it did come out at all. And basically it's just a, another virtual reality head-mounted unit you can wear, like Oculus Rift or a, any number of ones that have come out in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. So... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see it. I'd love to have a 3D game at home, but I mean, we wrote an article about it just recently. I just, I don't, like, we've, we've tried this thing over and over and over again. It never amounts to anything whatsoever. So I'm yeah, not... people get really excited about new technology without realizing that it, sometimes it just doesn't work. Yeah, the possibility it, outruns the, the, specific, the, uh, the capability. Well, yeah, and it, it, it requires games that you can't really have a game that comes out for that and it's still compatible for other consoles without watering it down somewhere or another. Um, it, it's just it's 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 nearly impossible to do, and we, we keep talking about this thing. Yeah, that's interesting. It, it's it's almost like the hollow sweet stuff from Star Trek. It's like I really I don't mind sitting on a couch and playing a game. You know, I don't need to be walking around. Or whatever, you know. But okay, with the Morpheus thing, that's going to be it's like a headset you wear that you probably you still move a controller and move around, right? Correct. Yeah. That'd be really strange. Yeah, I, I've tried Oculus Rift before, and uh, it was the same thing. You have a headset you look around with, and you have a control interface still. You can't see the buttons as you play because you have the thing in your face. Um, so you just got to kind of trust you know what you're doing. And, and that Oculus Rift, to, to its credit, was just like two joysticks you held, 
uh, to kind of balance. I play like an Iron Man simulation, right? I could hit the buttons on, and the control sticks I was holding that it'd be like the boosters on his hands. And that was, That's cool. It was a cool idea. It did not work well at all. It was so sluggish, and like I just fell off the building, and like I couldn't control it at all. It was not responsive. But it was it's a tech demo. I mean, it's it's not for production. It's not for the marketplace yet. And that's just the way it is. So, I, don't know, I love the idea. We, we try this thing over and over and over again. 3D stuff, you know, c- comes and goes all the time. We had 3D TVs for a while, and they kind of stopped marketing those recently. Um, this is just, I mean, I, I hate, to say, hate to use the word bad, but it kind of feels that way. Yeah, well, it, it, it's just the way we're going now. Like, we had 3D TVs the other year. Is it going to much ever, ever compete for headsets? We had motion control, I guess, was a big thing back like when the Wii came out. And that yeah. was big for a bit, and it kind of went away. It's, it's stunning to think how much Nintendo has done this with, with stuff, too. Like, they had <laughs> so many different consoles, so many different, like, things they come out with, and most of them fall on their face. I mean, the Virtual Boy and Nintendo DD, and so most of these things just are horrible. Some some stick Hold around a little while, like Super Scope, or whatever, stick around for just a little while, and some actually last. The, the motion control worked. But they try over and over and over again to get these things right. And they're, they're really innovative a lot of times, but so many things don't make it. Yeah, and this is one that's been tried before, so I, it'll, it'll be. I'm interested to see if it goes anywhere. I was worried about the price point, right? It'd be kind of cra- pretty expensive piece of equipment. You have yeah, to buy. especially if you don't have a PS4 today. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The PS4 is getting more and more tempting, but yeah. yeah. yeah what's doing it for you? Uh, the, the was it Infamous Two? That looks, that looks really good. Or Infamous Three, I guess. Sorry. Yeah. I, I could, that looks like a fun game to play. It's. It, People are writing really good things about it. They give it really good ratings. So I, I, so it's not quite enough as far as the seller for me, but it does look really good. Yeah. Uh, of course, I would like to play The Witcher on it, but that's going to be delayed apparently for another year. What is it seen now? Yeah, 2015. Yeah, it's kind of used to that happening more and more. I can't wait to see what Destiny turns out to be. That could be really good. Yeah, I'm hopeful for that one. But who knows? Um. Hey, so Morpheus, speaking of, speaking of, it, uh, new, what else do you want to say about Morpheus? Oh, if so if it comes out, do you know what it's supposed to come out? It's not going to release out in 2015. 2015, okay. Yeah, so it's not going to release, so a long time.